Welcome back to the shop. This is Jacob with the Wood Plank. This week I have a few different projects that I thought I'd share with you. My shop is this small barn that I've slowly been adding to over the years. It didn't even have electricity when I first moved into it. And now it's slowly evolving into something that I really enjoy working out of. My old doors were essentially a sheet of plywood, so these should be much better for insulation and keeping heat in during the colder months ahead. My dad's doing some renovations at his house and that's where these doors came from. They were already constructed so all I had to do was just get them to fit properly. A little before and after and since it's getting close to the holidays I went ahead and put some Christmas lights up That was an awkward transition. I recently had a client reach out about a custom order of olive wood charcuterie boards. Fortunately, I was able to locate some and began to break them down into two foot sections. This was my first time working with olive wood and I was immediately impressed. When I first picked up one of these pieces, I could feel the weight. This wood is extremely dense, and come to find out that it ranked about 2700 on the Janka scale. These are the branches of the tree that are pruned, and the wood is harvested from there. So the trees aren't actually cut down for this wood, it's just a pruning process. A few of the boards had twists in them, so I used this flattening sled to get things straight again. I tried to work with the natural lines of each individual board to give them an organic look.
After the bandsaw, I just wanted to smooth out the sides a little bit. Then I used a roundover bit to give the edges a nice profile and make it a little easier for folks to pick them up. This particular work order is for 15 boards. The client that ordered these likes to create one-of-a-kind experiences for their guests. They specifically wanted olive wood to present their food with. And after building this batch of boards, I must say, these do give off a really nice first impression. After sanding all the boards to 120 grit, I sprayed some water to raise the grain for the first time. This also gave me the opportunity to see the natural color for the first time, and it is just beautiful. I finished sanding at 220 grit, then I moved over to the mineral oil. I'll follow that up with some of my board conditioner and I'll just buff that in, let it sit, and then buff it back out. After making this batch of boards, I decided that I'm going to do my best to keep these stocked on my website. So if you uh, are looking for an olive wood charcuterie board, check thewoodplank.com out and hopefully I'll have some available. Here's a few of my favorite boards finished up from that batch. And the color and the grain, just absolutely beautiful. And most importantly, one of a kind. The last part of this video are some tree removals that I helped my brother and his guys out with over the past week. And this was kind of interesting because they used a crane to basically remove all these trees. So they started from the top and then worked their way down to the bottom and everything was hoisted up and kind of made for an interesting little video. You really gain a new appreciation of just how much work goes into getting a piece of lumber. I mean, from the time that the tree has to grow, then it has to be milled, 
and then it has to get dried and then you can build with it but it's just such an amazing process so working this end of things is kind of a nice way to stay connected with the work As always, thanks so much for watching. Take care from the wood plank, and no matter what, keep on trucking.